What we're doing is we're evaluating a foal for conformation problems. As you can see, the left front leg of this foal is very varus in that it toes in and the knee, it's crooked through the knee. The knee breaks out when the foal walks. If you drop a line down through this leg, the leg, the leg tends to go like this in an arc to the inside, meaning that he is base narrow and wide through the knees. If you look at this left knee, fairly obviously it goes like this, the toe faces that way. As his foal ages and gains weight, his left leg will continue to bend further and his knee will break out further. His knee will come this way and the toe will go this way. So we want to avoid that because that puts too much pressure on the joints in, in, in a fashion that, that causes them to develop chips on the inside of the knee because the inside of the knee carries more pressure when the knee breaks out and toes in. So our object here is to try to improve the conformation of this animal so that it will sustain racing at high speed for as long as possible. The breeds, both the thoroughbreds and the standardbreds, have gravitated towards this type of conformation over the years because these horses tend to be faster than uh, horses that are towed out. So with that, whereas 30, 40 years ago, most of the standard breads and many of the thoroughbreds were towed out, the, the tendency now is for the foals to be towed in. And this is a prime example. It's not as bad as some of them get, but now we're going to go to, the, to, the, to put some Equilox on the outside of his feet while he's still young. This foal is only about two and a half weeks old. We'll put the Equilox on his feet to manage the positioning of his feet and then we'll do some procedures on his ankles to increase the, the uh, rate of growth on the inside of the leg to make him have a conformation that is more acceptable.